Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yes, sir. Off work. Feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling good. How are you? Now, shout out to Chris C. That's my boy. Basically sent me some um, news about um about Ben Simmons aka no J aka get his girl taken from him aka the Australian look he basically saying he wants to be traded immediately and he's not reporting the training camp. We know why this is. <laughs> now you want to be traded. Does it have something to do with your little soft ass boss? Little five foot nothing dude? What's the real issue? To me, the Sixers should have been trading his ass a long time ago. The guy's a bum. People talk about, oh, he played defense. Okay, well, why was Trey Young cooking his ass last year? Why in big games he's always getting cooked and then he's not doing none of the cooking? This dude is in the kitchen and he burning the damn food up. <laughs> he ain't doing nothing. Y'all be so y'all always supporting this clown. I've never seen so many no J Simmons, no J Simmons apologies. Y'all do the same thing for that for his buddy. crazy all I hear every day is how Ben Simmons can play defense look if you're a specialist then give back your contract because they pay you Ben to be more than a specialist you know why you getting traded you should have been traded you sorry ass bum you should have been traded a long time ago these people don't know no damn basketball. I be hearing this all the time. People trying to tell me he's so good, but in big games, this mother, this motherfucker choking. This motherfucker choking more than um Pinky. Triple X Pinky. He choked more than her. This dude is so trash. But yet, yeah, y'all always giving him a pass, right? Y'all always giving this man a pass, right? He get a pass all the time, just like his daddy. And I keep telling y'all, man, this dude here is no good, but yet you guys still keep talking about he, he this and that, and he's not. <laughs> so I hope, he, I, I hope he don't report to camp. Because you know why you're going to lose money. And I know why you're going to lose money. Because you're listening to that dumbass dude who ain't even finished college. I don't even think he finished high school. If he got a diploma from high school, let me know. And I'll shut up about it. But I don't think that remedial ass dude don't know nothing. <laughs> he terrible. Dude, terrible. Terrible as hell. But yet, y'all dumbasses stay supporting him, man. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it at all why y'all support this guy so much.
Y'all support this dude so much, man. It's not even funny. All the time. Ugh. All right. We are going home. Now, oh man, lightning, it's about to rain hard. Now, I've heard the Kanye West Donda album, <laughs> and to me, the album, to me, he would have had a classic if he would have cut off half of those damn songs. Some and some of the songs were sounding the same. I thought I was listening to the same song. But to me, he should have just left Jay-Z off the goddamn album. Jay-Z verse was so weak, man. Everybody everybody brag about his 444 album. I listened to some of that. I didn't like it. It was alright. But Jay-Z ain't been the same since the Black Album. <laughs> since the Black Album, he is not, well, American Gangster. That was a good album he did, but other than that, man, Jay hasn't dropped nothing nice. His verses are basic. His verses are lame. Nas has surpassed him. Nas done got into the business world. Nas is doing his thing. He got the business world on lock, and then he got the he got the rhymes. Smarting up, Nas. He's smarting up, and he's surpassing you. <laughs> Nas is going to surpass you. He's already surpassed you in the hip hop world. The bars, the music. KD2 is a five mic album. I don't care about that Eminem verse. It's still a five mic album. Nas got the best album so far this year. Everybody else been on a dud mode. Kendrick Lamar, that song he came with with his cousin Baby King, that ain't that. That's a dud. It's all right, but it ain't no song that you put out to bring you back on. We know you can flow, but it's your substance. Where was it? But the Donda album, Kanye, listen, Kanye is a genius when it comes to the songs, to the music, how he writes it, he's a genius. But Kanye's problem is the substance behind it. Right now, he's giving us McDonald's and Burger King when he used to give us steaks and lobsters and all of that stuff, food that stick to you, collard greens and all of that. Now we got all this watered down process mess. I mean the album, I would give the album two, I would get album two mics out of five. Two out of five mics, dog. It, it's not that good. The production is the production I would give a four mic. I would give four mics to the production, but to the songs and everything, I would give it one and a half. I would give it about two and a half. I would give it about two or two and a half mics. That's, and then it's too many songs. You lose interest by the time you get to the middle of the CD. You like, damn, it's still going. <laughs> it's like, damn. How long is this album? You got eight more songs left. God damn. <laughs> Shoot, every time I kept looking, I'm, it's like 20 songs left. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's like, dog. Kanye should have dropped 13 songs or 12 songs. He could have dropped 12 songs and he could have added some skits to it or some interludes or something to it. Too many songs, man. Many 
these songs, man, it's just like, it's ridiculous. It's like, dog, what is you doing, bro? You know there's too many songs. <laughs> but whatever. West Side Gun. Hermes meet Adolf or something like that goes hard. West Side knows how to bring an album together. West Side knows how to pick the right beats to keep you engaged. And his bars are straight. West Side has some nice bars. And his voice is very catchy. Some people like, his voice is annoying. Nah, his voice is perfect. It's unique. You can distinguish him out of everybody. He has the best voice in the whole clique. Conway got the best bars. Benny has the best songs. Benny has the best songs and the best delivery. Benny's delivery is sick. And he shows it again. His wordplay is sick. Benny is the jack of all trades. He got the voice, the bars, the swag, the style, everything you want to call it. West Side got that voice, man. Then she starts singing like Jail of Fire. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, West Side is a fool with it. I was like, man, West Side be on it, dog. But his album, I would give his album four mics out of five. The only reason I don't give it five is because to me it's too many features. I wanted to hear more West Side by itself. I like when West Side does something by itself. Um, it sounds, I mean, it's, it's, his, it's how he gets down. But I give it four, four and a half out of five mics. This was a good album. The beats were on point. The artist that was on it, Bodie James, continues to shine. He continues to show, man, that he, he got it. He got the it factor. Conway came hard you know even though he rocked the dress man you can't take away the man's skills the man can spit Benny was nice too on it the songs they had with the song the, the two songs he had he had Benny on then he had Conway on with just him and Conway going back and forth West Side it, it was amazing so I would give it four mics out of five I still think West Side's last two CDs he did were a little better than this one. But this album go hard. It might be a five micer, I don't know. But I think it's a four mic out of five. I would give it that. You know, I would give it that for certain. That album went hard. goes hard. So I believe it was Felton Moore. I think it was who asked about did I see them trying to make Flores say something about Deshaun. Um, Flores was just speaking what any head coach would speak. When they asked him the question, he just said, yo, I just take high character guys. And you, what else was he supposed to say? Um, the reason that the trade did not go down is the Texans want too much. And I told you guys, the Texans did this because they want to stick it to Deshaun. They gave Deshaun money and McNair is pissed off that Deshaun is, is, is basically requested a trade. And the owner is mad because he wanted to request a trade. When these lawsuits came out, this is what hurt them. What hurt them is the timing of the lawsuits. If you were going to give these lawsuits, you should have done it when, before he asked for the trade. Then it would have seemed like, oh man, we got to give the benefit of the doubt. No, 
these victims are liars. I said it. All of this stuff is allegedly that I'm talking about, but they're liars. Um, Busby is nothing but an entertainer, um, an attention whore. That's all he is. He loves attention. Um, he's a he's a damn uh, what do you call it? He's a damn entertainment. He's an entertainment lawyer. The dude's an entertainer lawyer. So, you know. But yeah, they tried to make um, Brian Flores versus him because, of course, they wanted it. It was perfect when Brian, they asked Brian Flores that question. You guys have got to understand, the media, they plan this type of stuff. They love this stuff. They love when this goes down. They love when this go down because they can make it a black on black thing. See, even the black guy thinks that Deshaun has disgraced it. It's like, man, get the hell out of here. As much stuff as you white folks get away with. <laughs> to all you dumbasses who voted for Biden, how does it feel to look stupid every day? That's why I told y'all, the president don't run shit. It's a group of people that's in the back making these crackhead decisions, and they're blaming the president. The president ain't nothing but the face. He, he doesn't run shit. He doesn't do this. Everyone said, well, he signed his name. I said, okay, he signed his name, but dude, go look at the document. It's like 10 or 15 other people whose name's on there, signature's on there. Do you think the president could sign off on a bill without there being any other signatures? No, motherfucker. Do your research. But I went off topic. They tried to make Deshaun Watson. They, they, they're destroying his whole thing. They did their job. They destroyed him in the public opinion. They, everything is done by public opinion. Whether you win or lose, if you're damaged in the public's eyes, that's a win for them. Whether they win or lose the case. It was the same thing for Cosby. And then you got all these Uncle Tom, uh, uh, coon ass niggas like Michael Ja White and all these niggas who's um, on the Black Network or something or whatever, the Black Network or something, Black News or something channel with that punk ass nigga who looked like um, Tyler the Creator. What's his name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Who be on the Black News Network thing. Who be um who went at it with Judge Joe Brown. He looked just like Tyler the Creator. Bitch ass nigga. Letting these crackers get in his head. Same old, same old, man. Can't get ahead and can't get behind. Now, I saw Kane in episode six. Finally, it came out. I was like, what the hell happened? I was about to say, Andrew Walker, man, you messed it up. <laughs> I blame you for this. Andrew going to be like, oh, I'm getting blamed. I ain't there. Hey, you getting blamed. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Um, this episode basically showed that um, who can you trust? Who really has your back? We got to see Raw. Be ruthless. How she doesn't let anybody get close to her and she is what we call the typical baby mother today. Don't you do nothing but don't you do nothing with my son unless I know about it. That's my son. That's how a lot of these single mothers are, and that's why everything is fucked up today. Like it is. Because they won't let a man discipline their child, and it doesn't have to be necessarily spank his ass. 
It's just showing the level of respect. When a man put a rule in place, like, let that happen. Canaan's at the age where he needs a where he really needs a father. And we're seeing and we're seeing Omar Epps character basically trying to figure out how he can swing this getting his bone marrow. And he's trying to see if he could get his son to do it, but Ra is not letting him anywhere near their son. Because that's his son, because he did the he he, he got the um he got the birth date from him and everything. And she basically asked him if that's all that he asked about. And Canaan was like, yeah, that's it. And Canaan liked Symphony because just like his mother, he did something they wanted. Canaan and his mother are so much alike, it's not even funny. And she gets mad about it, but it's like, dog, you, that's basically the boy version of you. <laughs> Kanan basically um, was trying to get his oldest uncle on Marvin. That's my guy, Marvin. Him and Marvin have a connection because Marvin and them really want him in it. <laughs> you know, Marvin want him in it, but Marvin don't want to get, he don't want to piss off the sister because Ra is the boss. And at the end of the day, whatever happens is because of her. So, we got to see Lou. Lou finally got the spot up and running. Had the, um, had, um, his niece up there, Jukebox. We got to hear Jukebox. At first, Jukebox couldn't do it. <laughs> because she started being nervous and everything. Which is understandable. Which is very understandable. Jukebox got nervous because, you know, she basically thought, you know, hey, she, she couldn't do it. Kanan had to talk to her, but she was mad at Kanan, but that's how cousins are. They were mad at each other for a little bit, but hey, they got to talk. They got to um, see what was up with one another. Kanan basically got her to go out there she did a thing and then he realized Famous was rapping about the shit that he did. Basically this showed you that a lot of these rappers, your favorite rappers, were rapping about shit that somebody else did that really was on the street. And that's when they didn't realize, man, you rapping about me. <laughs> you rapping about the shit I did. You ain't do nothing. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's the way how it goes. That's how it goes. It is raining bad here, man. That's how it goes. And also we saw um, the dude that Ross sent in there, Scabs or whatever, or Scappy, I can't think of his name, but um, he basically told her about Kane and got arrested. And she sent them in there to get Unique's trust. Lou was finna get popped by Unique and them because he went to go meet with Unique to tell Unique, yo man, don't don't blow this spot up, man. Everybody gonna stand down. And Unique was like, look, man, I'm the boss. 
hell you talking to me like that for? And he wanted his boy to shoot him up along with the traitor. And they knew the traitor wasn't going to do it, but they just wanted to see. And right when the traitor was up there with the other guy, Unique's guy, had to drop on Lou. They could have took Lou out. The guy gave Unique a look with the eye, and Unique was like, oh, shit. And he did a diversion to get out of there. So he got messed up because the other guy was like, look, man, I was born, but not yesterday. I know what you did, and Unique knew you would do this. So they, they fucked him up and sent him to Raw on her front doorstep, all fucked up. Fucked his eye up, everything. Cut his ass up. So now, not only that, the Connect basically don't do business with them no more. So Ra had to do something else. She had to holler at the one lady that, that's at the bodega where they got their stuff at to holler at her cousin because she know who her cousin is. But the husband keep beating her ass and Ra don't like that. So Ra like talking about the lady trying to say she fell and she, Ra was like, yeah, you fell into his fist. Ra gonna end up taking care of that little prick cause I'd have been shot dude through the mouth. But they need him right now because it's his business. But Ra wants to meet with her cousin, with the lady cousin, because the cousin gets work, gets connects. So this is where we're probably gonna see how she get in with the Spanish people, the Mexicans and all of them. Or Latinos and Latinas, excuse me, I ain't gonna say Mexicans. So you know. Hey man, all this slowing down. was great I, I loved it then we saw the white girl basically was with jukebox I'm like oh god here we go with this 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 shit <laughs> damn lesbo action and then you saw famous getting some noggin he got some noggin and everything in the bathroom. My dog was like, got some good noggin. But yeah, that's how you know, man, what happened. And then Kanan got him some. He finally got some from the chick. But I think Kanan gonna find out she was the one who sent them to the, to the spot. But he's so in love with that chick, he ain't gonna do nothing about it. But we'll see. But um, Marvin, he upset because every time he wants to do more things, and Ross sent him to handle certain stuff. Marvin just Marvin just messed himself up, man. If Marvin had his head on the swivel and did what he supposed to do, man, he'd have been up there. But because of that mess with Kanan, she upset. shame but see Kanan man what he should have done was still stuck in school and did what he was supposed to do because man he's smart 
But no, he want to live the street life like his mom and all them. And it's the same thing that happened to Tyree. The same thing happened to Tyree, dumbass. You got a good thing going for you. Your parents are putting you somewhere where you could get better. But no, they hustling backwards. They want to go to the streets. And it's like, why? <laughs> why do you want to go to the streets? See, this is the thing. The overglorification of the drug game. People don't understand when their parents or people were in it, they had to do it. You don't have to do it, but he wants to do it. So now she's showing him and doing all it is. This is the only thing I'm looking at it like, Kanan, you was a dumbass. <laughs> and I see, and I see why Ghost was better than Kanan. I see why Ghost was better. Why Ghost was smarter. Because Ghost saw something and was like, okay, I could do this for now. But I don't always want to be here. I, there's more things than just this. I can get the money the legal way now. And this is what he was trying to show his dumbass son. But Tyreek was too much like Kanan. Wanting to get in the shit. <laughs> Instead of just focus on what you should have done. What the dude Symphony was doing, that's what you should do. <laughs> but no, you want to do drugs and be on the street and shit like your uncles and your mom which they not they don't want you a part of that life that's what I'm telling you people people gotta understand like you're put in an environment you're putting your environment to fail if you're dark skinned if you're a dark skinned brother you already got it bad cause you dark skinned so you can't do certain stuff that's why when mothers who got who's, who, who's, who's taking care of their kid the son is dark skinned they pamper them so much that pisses me off. I'd be like, man, stop pampering that boy, man. Throw, make him throw some balls. Be tough on him a little bit because I see now why my mother was tough on me. I'm light skinned, so I'm not gonna be in more. I'm not gonna have more troubles on me as a dark skinned brother would. Like mixed kids, that's why I can't stand when mixed kids try to act like. We got it the worst. No, y'all don't. Y'all don't have it worse than the dark skin brother. And and um, I'm going to ask on the next live, I'm going to ask Q Lee. I'm going to ask my brother Quentin. He'll tell you straight up, man. Dark skin brothers got it the worst. They do. Light skinned niggas like myself, we don't have it bad like the dark skin brothers at all. The dark skinned brothers could be walking down the street. They already seen as bad. They go in the courtroom. It's already against them. Me being light skinned, I got a little leg up. <laughs> so if I'm caught with something, I'll, I'll get a little leeway because I'm light skinned. But even though I'm light skinned, I'm still a nigga. And these mixed kids don't understand that. Y'all still niggas. So th this story is, I love how they're doing it. That's how they doing it. You see, and then Kanan saw his whole life story was in Famous Rhyme. And he got mad. He like, damn, bro. Yeah, nigga, that's how it is. You putting in the work, he going to get all the benefits from it, from the song. That's why 50 Cent, <laughs> when he came out and got at Ja Rule, he destroyed Ja Rule because Ja Rule... 
never did that shit that he was really saying he was doing. Murder, all this stuff. He wasn't no nigga like that. He didn't put in that work like that. That's why 50 got him. If you look closely, 50 don't back down. Any living thing that cannot coexist with any, any living thing that cannot coexist with the kid must cease existence. Little nigga, now listen. Yo mammy, yo pappy, that bitch you chasing, little dirty ass kids. I fucking erase them as a set, not enough. You want to be hard, G-Unit. You get knocked, nigga. You get fucked in the yard. Ah! You a Pop-Tart, sweetheart. You're soft in the middle. I eat you for breakfast and watch what you exchange for your necklace. Plus your boss is a bitch. If he could, he would. Sell his soul for cheap treasures like to be sure. You know what I'm saying? He basically exposed them. You could buy cars but can't buy respect in the hood. <laughs> so that's just how it is. But Kanan, the thing about Kanan is, man, Kanan need to leave that girl alone, man. I'm telling you. And then Lou, Lou trying to find a way to be legit. So Lou was really like he trying to do like what Ghost was doing. It comes a point where being doing the dope shit don't work out a long time. That's why Ghost, I appreciate what Ghost did. Ghost was smart. Ghost knew, man, if Kanan keeps staying around, man, I gotta do something. It's either kill him or set him up. And he didn't want to kill Kanan. He never could kill Kanan. Because Ghost loved Kanan. He looked up to Kanan like, man, that's my pops. That's like my pops. And it was. Kanan raised them niggas. But Kanan's problem is, Kanan too busy thinking, man, I want to be in the streets. I want to do this. Instead of seeing or expanding his mind. And that's what Symphony is doing. That's why I like Symphony character. Symphony was the typical brother who, man, was trying to save as many brothers as he can by pointing them in the right direction. And that's the thing. And Ra, she, Ra, I understand where she coming from, but Symphony's a good dude. Like Kanan said, he a real good dude. <laughs> Because the dude is real. And he loves her to death. But see, that's that's the thing about single mothers. You can't say shit to their kid. And you can't keep nothing from them that involves their kid. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDII TV. Thank you all for listening. We out. Deezy.